Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is How Fast. So this week, it's kind of a black hole for YouTube content. Uh, as far as I've, everyone I've spoken to who has a YouTube channel, uh, but for myself included, uh, we are really waiting on a lot of parts and pieces to come in. In particular, for the engine, uh, Dodgy's engine is nothing without a bunch of sensors and bolts and a flex plate, which I. Tried to put on earlier today, only to then realize that I don't have the right flex plate to bolt up to this torque converter. Or maybe I need a different torque converter. I'm not sure. I've got to do a little bit more investigating. So, that was kind of a failure uh, as far as starters for the day. What we are going to do, though, is we are going to continue kind of in the path that we had already uh, been, we've been going for the last couple weeks. We, we, we've been working on the brakes. This week, I think we're going to pull off the hubs and we're going to press out our, our wheel studs. These wheel studs are a half inch huge wheel stud, which doesn't fit through any pair of wheels I can find. Our new tires, our new wheels that we got from Jegs are no exception. They would not fit on these wheel studs. And I've done some research and found out, yes, they are huge. And for that reason, um, we're going to have to press them out and find some 7, 16, 20 uh, wheel studs to go in their place. So good thing we got a new press there a couple weeks ago. We'll be able to use it, put it to use today, and uh, I'm gonna get started pulling the wheels off and we can start pressing that out. So as you guys know, I ordered a Holly Terminator X back in May, and uh, it's been months now and I still haven't got it. I called them up and said, hey guys, did you forget about me? Did you lose my order? They said, no, uh, there's just a big back order on them and you're in line. I can't believe how long we have to wait for some some pieces and parts. It's amazing. Now, I had said earlier that we tried to get the flex plate on. Uh, that didn't go over well. I, uh, I put it on and realized that it's not the right fit for um, either either not the right fit for the torque converter or not the right torque converter for the flex plate. I don't know. I have to do a little bit of research. So I'm, I don't know why I thought I'd be able to just slap those two together, but it looks like we're probably going to need hopefully a new flex plate because torque converters are expensive. Also, I need to now find all new hardware for this engine, which is, you know, that's probably one of the hardest things about this is just finding what's the size and the grade and the thread pitch of all of this hardware that I need for this, uh, for this engine. So not that that information isn't available online. It's a matter of finding it locally is what I'm trying to find to avoid uh, shipping fees and waiting for this stuff to come in. You know, this, it takes a lot of forethought, which admittedly I'm kind of lacking in. Yo, these are, these are on here tight. I don't know if I mentioned in the last video, but this power glide's for sale. So I think it's out of an older Cor old Corvette, I think. Uh, that's what I was told. So if you're looking for that or a TBSS throttle body, we decided I'm not going to use this. So that's for sale as well.
So this is our six ton press. We just picked it up a couple months ago knowing that we were gonna have to do this and the ring gear on uh, Dudgy's rear end. So I got this thing. Hopefully we can fit the rotor in here to press out these um, these wheel studs. It looks like the rotor should fit, but like, well, I haven't I haven't disconnected it from the hub yet just because I, I think it would be easier this way, but I will see. It's gonna be a tight fit. So I'm gonna go grab the rotor and see if it fits in here. So I thought I'd show I thought I'd show you guys what I meant about the studs. So here's the new wheels. Here's the studs that are on the car. Obviously, this is I'm going in backwards. These would come through this way, but they don't they don't fit. They won't fit through there. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna change these out. We're gonna get something a little bit smaller, something that would be on a typical uh, production car, a stock production car when I was gonna say stock car but this is what's on a stock car so uh yeah definitely a very beefy beefy wheel stud on these so we'll change those up we'll get new studs and new nuts that'll fit in our new wheels now we're gonna go take the back off because if there's one thing I've learned from working on Dudgy over the last couple years it's that you don't assume anything I I, I, I I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna assume that the front is the same both left and right because I've seen both of them. But to make the assumption that the front is the same as the rear would be would be a mistake. So I'm going to just take this wheel off. We're going to take a look at it and see if we can get the wheel studs off of this because obviously these need to get changed as well. But whether they can be done with my press or not is yet to be seen. So let's dive in. Consistent on standing right in front of where I'm working. Those are surprisingly loose. <laughs> I kind of expected these were going to be uh, like a problem to get out, but. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, good news, this axle seal looks good. Okay, I can think of two ways to get these off. That would be to either buy or rent the proper tool. Um, I don't know what that is. I can, I can picture it though in my head, kind of like a big C clamp or use a hammer. I don't know if that was supposed to be that easy. So as you can see, it's a good thing uh, we didn't make any assumptions. This is the back. Look at how it's ground down. I don't know. You know what? Maybe they come like that. Maybe they didn't grind this and they came like that. I don't know, but very tight to get in there. Uh, the knurled area here is completely worn out. That's why those two just, those ones just flew out of the back. So when I get the new ones, we will make sure that they're nice and tight. Here's the fronts. So you can see there's, there's quite the difference between the two. So this is a 5 8 11 thread. This is a 5 8 18 thread. Um, yeah very different won't fit into our wheels and even even though like this one being a just a slightly 
finer thread will slip through the wheel just barely, but the nut that goes on this will never fit in that wheel. So we need to get some new studs. Now the question is 71620 or uh, 91618, I think is the other option. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure which one to get. And it's really a matter of which nut is gonna fit well inside of this hole here. So we'll have to, we'll have to probably bring this and these to wherever we get these studs from. And we'll have to talk to them and make sure we get the right neural, the right length, the right thread pitch, the right diameter. It's, it's gonna be, a, it's be interesting. And, and also a nut that's gonna fit in here. So it's quite a few things that are gonna have to work out for us to get this, uh, this problem solved. It's very much like a, um, a treasure hunt with this car. Like every part and piece you go to find, you gotta, you gotta dig into it, learn about it, learn about what you have, because it's not like, it's rare that you can just like pick up something on this car and go, oh, I know what this is, because it could be from anything. Uh, so, you know, you have to do a lot of research on what it is and then what you need. And then likely, sometimes it seems like with this stuff, it's kind of hard to find uh, something that has the correct neural size, length, thread, pitch, and size. So I don't know if I'm going to have to get some custom wheel studs or if maybe I can get away with like these 916 um, diameter wheel studs as opposed to the 716. So I'm going to have to do some research and get back to you on that one. Uh, so, like I said, going to have to get a new flywheel. We're going to have to get order up some hardware um, to make sure we have the correct hardware to bolt everything up. And then we'll be putting uh, the engine in. But the engine won't go in probably until we get these new wheel studs in and try and get this whole wheel situation figured out here. Because I want to see the car on the ground on its wheels. Uh, so that we really take that next leap into Dudgy not being a stock car, not being a NASCAR. It's going to be a drag car. And seeing them on some big, thick stickies in the back and skinnies in the front is really going to say that to anyone who sees him. So, let's talk about how fast trivia. Last week's question uh, was one for the Bond fans. And uh, I got a couple of answers and only... Uh, no, actually, I got a couple of answers and both you guys guessed and both you guys got it wrong. So, last week's how fast trivia question was, which Bond girl did Citroen feature in their 1985 advertising campaign? Your options were A, Grace Jones, B, Ursula Andress, C, Honor Blackman, or D, Diana Rigg. The correct answer, as none of you got it, was A, Grace Jones. I hope you guys are on your game this week. I hope you get it right. Please feel free to look up the answer. I want to see some comments below. This one's a bit easier just to get you guys back on track. This week's How Fast Trivia question is, in the movie The Love Bug, what type of car was Herbie? Your options are A, a Volkswagen Golf, B, a Ford Fiesta, C, a Mini Cooper, or D, a Volkswagen Beetle. I look forward to hearing you guys' comments and questions. If you want to get in touch with me, you can get me at howfast10 at gmail.com. You can find me on Instagram at how underscore underscore fast. Or just look me up on my link tree. And I'll catch you guys next time. Find out how fast we can make this car go.